What is happening, y'all? Welcome on back. So, time to make our way on out to the crossway. See what's out over there. I really want to find, like, a shotgun. Um... This is kind of nutty. Just spamming this like that seems to work really well. Let's see how it works if I'm using an automatic. This, this automatic isn't that good. I bet a higher level one would... I think it's the accuracy. Like, it's hitting, but it's it's very... Uh... I'm going all over the place. And I come up on the button really fast. Nice little creatures to get my aura dark as hell. I think it's it's also the oh, every time I hear that noise. I think because we're we're playing this alongside Mass Effect, it's just further exacerbated. Because Mass Effect, there's a lot of decisions that. I would describe as morally gray. And in this game, uh, decisions are very, very black and white. Like, it's not even so much like, uh, oh, this is good and this is bad. It's like, all right, your choices are e either uh, pet the nice fluffy kitty or murder it. And it's like, Jesus Christ. I think these choices are a little... <laughs> really? Murder it? Or pet it? Like, those are... That's a... It's a big difference, you know? A bargain. Do you want to pet the little squirrel, or do you want to crack its head off and... This means you have a just choice like, damn game. Which way? I don't like how how overly black and white it is, I guess. But so far I haven't seen a single morally gray decision in this game. Which I think any good game with a focus around choice needs it. I mean even Fable back in the day, which I think was Fable was pretty uh Pretty black and white, you know, there was clearly like, for you. this is a good guy route, this is a bad guy route, you know, terrorize the villagers or be friendly to them. 
Um, but even then, I felt like there were still some decisions that were kind of like, like well, it could go either way. To buzz the wire. Just a few moves left. Make them count. Wired up and ready to go. Holy shit. Uh, what the hell just happened? Where's my where's my gear? What the fuck? What did the pling plong booth just do to my gear? What the fuck just happened? Bike pad, layer pad, backpack. my gear all disappeared to let's just start with you I think that's that's what I was using right I was using this Don't compare anti-red. Elder has more key energy but less health and energy regen. I'll keep the amp pants on. Oh, hang on. Do they... I don't know why the the phone that's see like shit like that man not like a destructive bug how weird like you get a bunch of loot and the game strips you naked that is the is really weird Says you should bob around more often. Chukamedro de Aucha. Glad to find someone who sees the world for the di- Tosote, Tameso. You're going to need some- Wout one. Imetala. Says you should bob around more often. Ilyap kap rev grepa peika. Says you should- Prat tiknobob. I don't remember ever talking to this guy. He sure seems like he knows me. Those legs are getting used right now. We got crit and more energy. I 
think that was a thing for Blunt. Let's see. Craft a new melee. Ooh, a radioactive crush hammer. Uh, 240. Oh, so that's still better. But this is light, so the attack speed is higher. Increase your armor score for 2%. That's kind of neat. Um, I mean, in theory, this would be... I could swing it really fast. This is better for dunking all over people. Or the radioactive hammerhead with light. So if we were to take that as the base. And then do a strapped bar. And then a uh, barbed bolt. Bro spike. Figure I'm just gonna try it out, see how I feel about hammer. Worst case, I just sell it. Or better yet, break it down and get, get the parts back. Examine the guns flexors. The hell is the Wanna guns flexors? Swole, grab those guns flexors and get pumping. Got to time it right to make them work. Left, right, left, right. Pumping good, looking better. It's kind of cool. Little mini games in the world that can make you stronger. Old world body shaper. My strength is... Damn, I got 10 strength out of that. Pretty impressive. Source totem. I really want to find the mount pip. Oh. Um, I don't think I'm supposed to have done that. Managed to stumble out.
Really? I figured for sure that, uh, that we'd be able to get that open. That's more than stuck. The cranks like these usually need to be wound to operate the dispenser. Just a few moves left. Make them count. What you see is what you get. Once it's out of the blind box, that is. You flick the switches in order to green light the current and activate the electrons in the panel. Good. The loop is electrified enough to spark. Mount pit food and a resource totem. Um, oh, so is that the... Oh, oh, come here. Kill it. Kill all the creatures we find. Uh, totems you can usually see just being up high. I feel like I skipped over the tutorial for Mount Pip. Like, don't I need to, like, hit a bush to get him or some shit? I need to go back and watch the episode where I got my first mount and figure it out. Hammer broke that fast. Mount Pip food. Bothering me is I can hear a sparkle. Like, it's the biggest near the middle of town. was near the middle of town. I think that sparkle is indicating the thing I want. It's not the Mount Pip food. Oh, whatever. We got the gummy. Let's return to Noko. Turn this in. Episode, probably episode five or six. So remember, it was right around the time that we had the first uh, tribe war. Side points. I need so many side points to get super darkness lightning call down. Watch it ends up sucking. I wouldn't be surprised, but I don't know. I need I need to like really pump my intellect to make those spells actually good. Look at those notices on the board. Too bad the gnotes couldn't read them. If you wander around here, you might find once the power ran out. Nope. What? Why do I have a, a quest for this?
Beating your creature starbursts. With its attention diverted to the chewy bonbon gummy, the majut calms down. But Noko is still concerned. She's relieved the majut. The only sit tight she can. If she remembers correctly, she's. Alright, get him out. No shit, I don't want that. Give me the new main quest. There we go. And it's down there. So just back through the nupstones. I could go get the the gun flexors. Shock boxes, pling pong booths. Alright, I think I'm gonna go get the gun flexor. And then we'll grab this at the same time. Um, but anyway, we're gonna wrap up here. Y'all stay tuned. Catch you soon with some more.